Hey, this is Rob. I'm going to go over the menu system on the Osmo Pocket. There are two menu systems on the Osmo Pocket. One menu system is when you attach the Osmo Pocket to your smart device and use the Mimo app. And the other menu system is on the camera itself. And I'm going to be going over the menu system on the camera itself. And I'm recording this intro on the Osmo Pocket using the selfie mode. Okay, here we go. So the most common thing you're going to be doing is switching modes from photo mode to panel mode. Thus, I'll cover that first. To switch modes on the Osmo Pocket, swipe from right to left. Currently, I'm in video mode. These are the different modes, photo, video, slow motion, time lapse, and pano. We'll start on photo mode. Those three dots on the right means that there are settings associated with this mode and you want to swipe those dots to the left to go into the settings for this photo mode. The bar to the left will take you back to the camera so you can start using them photo mode. Looking at the photo settings, ratio is the aspect ratio that you want when shooting photos. There are three different aspect ratios, 16 to 9, 4 to 3, and 3 to 2. This countdown is the timer. You have off, 3 seconds, 5 seconds, and 7 seconds. Swiping to go into the camera. Now swipe again to change modes. Going to video mode. As you can see, it's very sensitive to the touch screen and it's very easy to overshoot the mode that you want. Video mode. I'll swipe those three dots to the left. We have resolution and frames per second. For resolution, you have the choice between 1080p with a 16 to 9 aspect ratio and 4K with 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Frames per second for both of these are 30 and 60. Okay, going back and looking at the next mode, slow motion video mode, swiping the three dots, speed, one speed, 1040p, 4x. Let's go to the next mode. Time lapse mode. Notice that there are no three dots on the right for settings. The settings for the time lapse are made when you enter the time lapse camera mode. I will show you that shortly. And we have motion lapse. Motion lapse is panning time lapse done in camera. First, let's take a look at time lapse. The settings for time lapse are located in the blue square located on the lower left corner. I'll tap on it. On the left is interval and on the right is recording time. The interval starts at 3 seconds and goes up to 60 seconds. It's interesting that the interval starts at 3 seconds. Most people like to use a 1 second interval. Duration. You have the infinity sign. So that means continuous shooting until you press the red dot recording button again to stop recording. Lowest recording time is 5 minutes, all the way up to 5 hours recording time. 5 hours? Will the battery last that long? Recording normal video, the battery lasts 2 hours. Let's go to motion lapse. When you tap on motion lapse, it gives you this diagram. Remember, a motion lapse is a time lapse that pans across the area. This diagram indicates that you need to set the beginning and ending points of your pan by physically moving the lens on the gimbal. Tap OK. In the lower left hand corner is a blue box. Tap on it to set the interval and recording duration. After setting your interval and duration, tap next in the lower right hand corner. On the bottom we have a 13 second interval with a 5 minute recording duration. Up top you see a 1 and a 2. We are going to set the first starting point for the lens where we want the pan to begin. I am physically moving the gimbal with my hand to the view I want first. Then you tap on that plus in the center of the screen. Then that blue X backspace symbol in the upper right lights up. If you want to reset the starting point, tap on that backspace symbol. Now move the lens gimbal to the ending point of the pan and press the plus in the center of the screen. 
and the green check mark appears, indicating that you are all set to go to the motion lapse mode and press the record button. I'm going to press the backspace blue X in the upper right. Now we can reset our number two spot for the ending position of the pan or tap the backspace again to reset everything. I'm going to get out of here by swiping. And let's take a look at the panel mode. And swipe the three dots for the settings. There are two different types of panoramics. A 100 degree panoramic, which is the traditional one, and a 3x3. Three three. A 3x3 three three is three photos up top and three photos on the bottom stitched together. I'll go back and go into the photo mode. I'm going to swipe from left to right to view my recorded media, photos, and videos. I have three photos. Swipe from left to right again to delete an image, or the heart is to add an image as a favorite. I'll tap on the delete file, tap OK. Now I have two images. I'll set an image as a favorite. and swipe to go back to photo mode. Looking at the menu when you swipe from down to up. This icon here will recenter the gimbal and lens. I'll tap on it. The gimbal is recentering. It is finished recentering. Swiping up again. This is a fast follow and a slow follow. This will set if the gimbal moves fast or slow. In fast follow, the gimbal responds faster but more suddenly. In slow follow, the gimbal responds slower, but the movement is smoother. If you are taking photos, you might want to change this to fast follow. And this symbol in the lower right, the gimbal in the DJI Osmo has three axes, a pan, tilt, and row axis. This icon will give you some control in which axis will do the following. I'll tap on it, follow. The pan and tilt axis will follow. I'll tap on again, tilt locked, only the pan axis follows. I'll tap on it again. This is FPV. FPV stands for first person view. All three axes will follow. You'll have to experiment with these three modes. In the upper right hand corner is the flip camera icon or selfie mode. It's telling me that tracking is unavailable in the FPV. In selfie mode, the Osmo Pocket has an automatic face track, except if you are in FPV mode. So I will go back and change to follow mode. And tap on the selfie icon again. There, the face track is on and the gimbal will follow the movement of my face as I move back and forth. I'll go back and tap on that flip camera icon again. One more set of menus, swiping down. Swiping down will give you a different set of options depending if you are in photo mode, video mode, or time lapse mode. We will begin with photo mode first. Swiping down in photo mode. From here, swipe from right to left. This smiley face symbol here is the glamour effects icon. This is only available in photo mode. When the icon is smiling, the effect is on. Tap on it to turn it off. When it is off, the icon looks like this. This is the system settings icon. Every mode will have the system settings. Tap on it to go into system settings. In the upper left, it tells you how much battery life you have. The bottom left is to turn on tilt control. Tilt control works when the Osmo is attached to a smart device. It allows you to control the gimbal by sliding your finger on the attached smart device. DJI calls this a virtual joystick. In the lower right, you have different time settings for the auto power off. In the upper right is to calibrate the gimbal. Make sure your Osmo Pocket is on a flat surface before you calibrate it. To calibrate the gimbal, tap on it. I will show you what happens. You can't see it here, but on the right next to cancel, it says OK. Tap on OK. 
There's a countdown because after you touch OK, the camera will shake a little. So it has a three second countdown. So if there was any shaking of the camera, it gives it time to stop shaking. The camera is going to go through the calibration process. I will not speed this up so you can see how long it takes to calibrate the Osmo Pocket. They do have a status bar across the bottom to show the percent completion. The gimbal starts to move. Okay, the gimbal is calibrated. Going over to the next screen. In the upper left, it gives you the remaining capacity of your SD card. I have a 64 gigabyte card in this, and I currently have 58.9 gigabytes remaining. In the lower left is anti-flicker. Prevent the flickering of lights appearing in the video when shooting indoors. You have two choices, 50 hertz and 60 hertz. Choose 60 hertz for the USA and 50 hertz for many other countries around the world. In the upper right is accessories. This is when you have DJI Osmo Pocket accessories attached to the Osmo Pocket. I will tap on the more in the lower right. Here's where to change the language. Reset the camera and camera information such as current firmware version. I will swipe up and get out of here. Staying in photo mode. Check out the other system settings. This icon is for when the Osmo is attached to a smart device. Tap on this icon to choose full screen display or letterbox display on your smart device. The touch screen brightness control on the Osmo Pocket. It has three levels of touch screen brightness. Okay, let's go to video mode. Swiping from left to right. Quality. The three stars here in quality indicate super fine video quality. This option is only available in this mode, video mode. You have two choices, standard quality and super fine quality. Tap on it to change quality. The one star is standard quality. Tap on it again. It gives you a message before changing to super fine quality. Shooting super fine video may cause device to generate excessive heat. You may have seen other YouTube videos talking about how warm this Osmo Pocket gets. It is due to this, shooting video in super fine quality. Tap on OK to confirm. The system settings will be the same in all modes. Let's go to another mode. In slow-mo mode, all you have are the system settings when you swipe down in this mode. So I will skip slow-mo. Go into time-lapse mode. And swiping down, now swiping from right to left. This setting is only available in time lapse and motion lapse modes. You can choose to save only the converted time lapse video or both the converted time lapse video and the images used to make that time lapse. Choosing this photo and film strip icon will preserve both the photos and converted time lapse video. Choosing this film strip icon will only save the converted time-lapse video. Okay, that's the only differences between the swipe down feature and those modes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.